Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our linked list series and in this video we are going to look at another uh, problem which is very important in terms of our interview preparation alright so let's get started with this video let's see the uh, description of this video the description of this problem so the problem name is remove duplicate some sorted list and let's read the uh, description so given the head of a sorted like list delete all the duplicates such that each element appears only once and then we will just have to return the like list sorted as well all right so suppose uh, see example one there are three elements one one two so this is sorted and uh, we have two ones so obviously we're going to remove one as we have to delete all duplicates so our output should look like this one two all right let's look at this example two there uh, this list is sorted one two three we have one duplicate of one and one duplicate of three we'll remove this and we'll get this in output one two three all right let's think of the solution Suppose I have code like this. What I am going to do here? You may like pause the video for two minutes and think of the solution. Okay. So, um, this is a very good approach. You like this is learning for you. How to use this approach exactly? So what we are going to do is we are going to use two uh, pointers here. Let's see what pointer is I1. Another pointer is G. So what we are going to do is we are simply going to traverse J where well, initially both the pointers are here. Now J is going to point from like uh, we'll check if uh, G's data is equal to I's data. If it is correct, we'll simply move J from here to here. Let's check again if J's data is equal to I's data. It is. So we'll shift J from here to here. Now we'll again check if G data is equal to I's data. It is. We simply move here. All right. Now we'll check if J's data is equal to I's data. It is not. Yes. So what are we going to do here? We change our I. I basically was here. So we we'll just change our I's next. That means I is next to this to point towards J. That means all these elements get removed. And then we simply want to change I from there to here. Alright. Now we will again uh, say that I is equal to J. Then we will again go to J forward. Here, check if J's data is equal to I's data. It is so we are changing the pointer from here to here. We'll see that uh, J's data is not equal to I's data, so we just, we just simply change I's next to G. Right, and we are going to change i from here to here now the rest you know and as soon as j reaches null we will come out of the while loop okay so let's um, try and run and write this code all right so select list node star it1 Let's make it as head and we have star id2. I'm saying y 
it2 not equal to null so we have to do two things it2 is going to be it1 all right it is going to be uh, it1 all right you might be thinking why is that so let me tell you suppose uh, this is 3 and this is none right so as soon as this reaches here g will come out of the loop and this action won't be okay. all right going to be um, it one okay we have now it2 as it1 and we have here y it2 not equal to null right and it2 val is equal to it1 well we will simply do shift it2 as to its next simply creating it2 right now we simply want to change it next as it2 and then uh, it as uh, it next and here we are simply going to return head let's try and run this code let's see if it works okay okay my god let's go to it one next Mm -hmm. This error everywhere, I guess. Let's let's see. It runs now. Mm -hmm. I've made this error everywhere. Sorry for that. Okay, so our output is accepted. Let's try and submit it. Okay, let's get submitted. All right. So this was the question. Yes, so we solved it. We so I guess you learned about the new approach we did here of two pointers, and you may uh, seek help or like use them for the future questions. Practice more. You can use these two questions to work here. Remove duplicate some sorted necklace two and remove duplicate some and unsorted necklace. All right. So I guess that's it for this video and thank you for watching, see you next time.